This looks like the place they were talking about. Morning, sunshine. Hope we didn't wake you. Kurva. Did you have to sneak up on me like thieves? We are thieves. Besides, we had to make sure you weren't followed. Or trying to lead us into a trap. But enough of this chit chat. Let's get down to business. We heard there was some trouble at the monastery. Question is, was it the right sort? Did you do that job we agreed? Do you think I'd be sitting here if I didn't do it? How should I know? The world's full of idiots. It's done. You've got proof? He had this on him. Hmm. Aye. That says all right. What did you do with the body? I dragged it away and buried it. That must have been quite a job. True, it wasn't easy, but if I'd left the corpse, they'd know for sure I was the killer. This way, they just lost a couple of novices. Or do you think it would have been better to leave the body there? Nah, I just have to make sure you did what was needed. Not even a mouse can get into that damn monastery, so I've no choice but to trust you. And do you trust me? Yeah. 
What now? What now? You did your job. Welcome. We need people like you. But what do you need people like me to do? <laughs> I'm just a crimp. All I do is recruit. Now you get to go to our camp and find out everything you need to know. Where? Are you seriously telling me you didn't notice the camp? Not too observant, are you? Well, there's a hill above Sasso, and on top, there's an old abandoned fort. Only it's not as abandoned as it used to be. That's where the camp is. Go there and report to a fellow by the name of Eric. Tell him Kozliak sent you. And they'll let me in just like that? Good point. I almost forgot. At the gate, show them the special die you took off Pius. That's our sign. That's all? That's all. You'll learn everything you need to know at Vranik. And hurry up. I've got a feeling there's something being planned. You're dead! Go ahead and gather your strength. You'll need it. <sighs> Gone weak at the knees, have you? Thank you. 
God save you, Henry. Hey, Henry's come to see us. Sir, I have news, and I'm sorry to say it's nothing good. After everything that's happened, you have even worse news. That's almost impressive. I'm afraid so. It's going to happen again, and on an even bigger scale. You're full of good cheer, aren't you? What exactly will happen? It seems the Pribislavitz encampment was just the start, and they're far from defeated. How did you find out? I found a recruiting agent who worked for them, and let him recruit me. Ah, God's holy hat! You never cease to surprise me, lad. And what did you find out? They have another much bigger encampment in Vranik, near to Sassau. What do those bastards want? And who the hell are they? To hurt us? Conquer the region? I'm not sure yet, but I can find out. How? I'm one of them now. I have their secret sign. I know where their camp is. All I have to do is go and take a look. That's out of the question. It's too risky. Sire, compared to everything I went through to get this, it will be child's play. I already passed their test. They trust me. Then we'll have to attack them before things get out of hand. Ideally, right now, when they're not expecting us. Once we catch that mangy little shit, we can ask him nicely what he wants. But then again, before we attack, it would be useful to have a spy go and scout out how many of them there are and what they're up to. I don't want you to take any unnecessary risks. It's much less risky than our raid on Pribislavitz. All right then, Hal. Go there and find out how many of them there are, and what their plans are, whatever you can. But don't stick your neck out too far. Yes, sir. Godspeed, lad.
That could be it. That could be it. What do you want? Let me inside. Inside, eh? What's the password then? I came here for a game. Show me that. Aye. All right. Welcome to Vranik, comrade. Thank you for your kind welcome, comrade. Who should I report to? Eric. He should be in the house. At the top. Haven't seen me wielding the axe yet. That's all I see. How many times is that now? I lost count of the four. That was you, right? The last time it was the gloves, wasn't it? Not only strong outer walls, but inner ones too. This isn't good news. This must be where the commanders are. What do you want? Kozlik sent me. Ah, more reinforcements. You're the one from the monastery? Yes, sir. So you really killed that turncoat? Yes, sir. 
Well done. I heard about you, and quite honestly, I didn't think you'd succeed. So can you handle a sword? Yes, I know what I'm doing. Well, I think it's best if we put you to the test. Go to our combat master, Vanyek. He'll soon find out what you're made of. Just go downhill, as far as the stockade. His tent is right next to the training arena. All right, sir. I lost count after four. That was you, right? The last time it was the twelve. Those tents look pretty impressive. Yeah, These fellows aren't poor for that's for sure. Can't drink no more today. Are you Combat Master Vanyak? <laughs> Hi, that's me. What do you want? I'm Henry. Eric said you'd try me out to see how good I am with a sword. Ah, another greenhorn. Nice to see Kozlik's doing his job. Mind you, most of the peasants he sends me couldn't fight a pile of manure with a pitchfork. Hey, don't I know you from somewhere? You look familiar. Yes, you taught me sword fighting in Scalis. Wait now. Yes, I do remember. We met at the alehouse. Well, I'm glad you made it out alive. I took to my heels before it even started. All right, let's see what you're good for. Have you got a weapon? If not, you can borrow one over there. Now, are you ready? Ready as I'll ever be. All right, let's see what you're made of. I'll slaughter you. Jesus, you got me. You're a lot better than most of the fuckers here, lad. Well done. I've had a bit of practice. So I see. I'll tell Eric what you've got in you, don't worry about that. But so you don't think old Vanyak has passed it, I'll teach you one trick you'll be glad to know. Oh, that's very generous of you. Well, I don't want to take it to the grave with me. All right, listen. Before you start twisting and turning, take a good firm stance with your legs wide apart, like this. As if you're about to let off a huge fart. I think I've got it. Thanks.
Take the woman, burn in. the village, drink annihilate pillage. Burn in. Sir, may I...? What is it? I went to the fight master as you ordered, and I... What's the matter? Lost your tongue? I think I know what's troubling the young master. He's surprised to see me here. And the feeling's mutual. When did you start recruiting Radzik's people, Eric? Radzik? Indeed. This boy is very dear to him. And I expect he's looking for this? Am I right, young man? You bastard. Ah. He's coming round. I apologise for the discomfort, but it's for your own safety. And ours, of course. You can count yourself lucky, lad. I'm going to keep you alive. I'm sure your father will pay a nice fat ransom for you. My father's dead. That lucky of yours wouldn't even let me bury him. He doesn't know, Eric. Nobody told him. They told me, a foreigner, but not him. How very inconsiderate. I'm sure you'd rather hear it under different circumstances and from someone else, boy but beggars can't be choosers. Your father, your real father, is alive. You even know him. It's your liege lord, Radzik Kobela. Although, how much can he really care about you? Here you are, a homeless orphan, and he still hasn't acknowledged you. Your parents are both dead, aren't they? I thought so. And yet, Radzig still hasn't told you the truth. Could it be that he's ashamed of you? Hmm. I wonder if you'll want to pay that ransom after all. Well, best not think about that. If your father won't pay your ransom, you have no value to me. My father's dead! I understand why you feel that way. My own childhood was not dissimilar. How strange that we should have something in common. But I've delayed long enough. Now it's time for you to tell me why you came here. I was looking for my father's sword, which was stolen by a certain bastard. <laughs> and I found it. But I wonder which father you mean. In a way, it belongs to both. It doesn't matter who it belongs to. I'm going to kill you with it. Ah! You're hardly in a position to threaten me. But now I think of it, why not? When your father, your real father, pays, I'll give you an opportunity to try. I think that's very generous of you. Isn't it? <laughs> Radzik will crush you. And I'll be there to see it. I very much doubt it. You spied on our camp. You must realise that your father hasn't a fraction of the forces I've gathered. And now, with the king in captivity, there's no one to levy troops to come to your aid. <laughs> Even united with Hanush and Divish, your father couldn't raise more men than I have. The only force in this country capable of defeating me is Sigismund's. And he pays me. <laughs> when he wins, I win. Everything I take now will be mine, and I plan to take everything. So meet the new Lord of the Realm. A man like you will never rule here. Ah. Have you never heard of Lord Sokol of Lamberg or Sahinek the Dry Devil? They fought for your king and plundered the estates of the lords in Austria, just as I'm doing here. Like they say, the stronger dog fucks the bitches. And war is a nasty business. Sir? 
It's time. Now, I'm afraid I have more important business to attend to. I'll leave Udo here to keep you company. <laughs> and let's hope for both our sakes that your father pays up. Farewell. Rotten hell! <laughs> <laughs> Knock some manners <laughs> into him, Udo. Come on, Eric, let's go. We've got work to do. <laughs> Henry, wake up. Can you hear me? Jesus, that brute really worked you over. Here. Try to drink. I thought you'd never come round. How do you know my name? Don't you recognize me? Vishek, you fucking traitor. You throw me to those bastards and then look me in the eye like nothing shh, happened. Shh, quiet. Maybe we started off on the wrong foot. But I'm your only chance to get out of here alive. So do you want my help or not? What do you want? I want to get you out of here. But if you'd rather, I can leave you to rot and get the shit kicked out of you by Istvan's bruiser. Why would you, of all people, want to get me out of here? I've got my reasons. If not for the good of my soul, then for the good of my purse. It'll cost you a few groschen and that's all you need to worry about. You shouldn't look a gift horse in the mouth. Shouldn't I? Even when it comes from a treacherous bastard who set his cutthroat friends on me when I was trying to bury my parents. I won't deny we didn't get off to a very good start. But this is a chance to start over and let bygones be bygones. So what exactly are your reasons? Nothing you need to care about. Let's just say it's a personal matter. But I do care. I don't believe a word you say. I know you're up to something. So you'd better try harder to convince me, or I'm not going anywhere with you. Not a day passes without these cutthroats pulling daggers on each other. And I'm the youngest, so they make a slave out of me. <laughs> a bandit's life isn't quite how you imagined it, eh? My heart bleeds. But you could easily make a run for it on your own. Why bother with me? Look, I just want to live a normal life. For that, I need peace and some coin. You need to get out of here, and you've got coin. My help won't cost you a tenth of what Istvan would want from Sir Ratzik. Why shouldn't we help each other? Why don't you go on your own? What would I do? I've been left alone in this world, and I'm an outlaw. How long do you think it'll take before I'm swinging from a gibbet? I need to get some coin and get the hell out of here. How do you propose to do it? Finally, we're getting somewhere. I know a way you can get out of the fortress without anyone seeing you. I'll untie you and you'll have to make your own way there. It shouldn't be hard at this time of night. I'll wait for you outside. Afterwards, you'll tell your noble father I helped you so they don't hang me. And naturally, you'll pay me something for the risk I'm taking. Risk? Sounds riskier for me than for you. Not really. What are they going to do with you if they catch you? They want to ransom you, so the worst they'll do is lock you up again. But me, who was supposed to be guarding you and let you escape? Nobody's going to pay no ransom for me, friend. What about my possessions? Eric has your things. It would be suicide to try and get to them. Forget them. Oh, wonderful. So I'm supposed to make a run for it like this? It'd be better if you wore something to blend in, it's true. But I can't go and get you anything. I'm supposed to be guarding you. So if I leave my post, I'll have to avoid the others just the same as you. Alright then. Let's get out of here. 
untie me. That's what I want to hear. But first, swear you'll tell Sir Ratzik I helped you. And that you'll pay me too. You have my word. What's the plan? All right. I'll have to trust your man of honor. Now listen, I found a place where you can easily get out. Down in the camp on the slope above Sasau, there's a place where they throw the waste over the wall. The pile of shit reaches almost to the top of the stockade. All we have to do is jump over and we'll have a soft landing. Then we're free. Free and covered in shit. So that's all. Well, first, we both have to get there. We can't let anyone see either of us. I'm supposed to be guarding you and you're... Well, I'm supposed to be guarding you. So we have to keep to the shadows and stay away from prying eyes. I'll go first. There shouldn't be anyone outside in front of the barn. When you're out, go left along by the wall. There are cliffs everywhere, so try not to get yourself killed. I'll wait for you not far from the camp, by the dead tree between the path and the brook. Good luck.
Well now. Ah! Thank <laughs> you. 
What are you doing there? Who's there? Oh, Jesus Christ! Who are you?
So, we're out. Now it's time for you to keep your part of the bargain. Don't worry, I keep my word. But I have to go to Ratai and see my... my father. They took my coin when they captured me. Fine. We should get out of here as quick as we can anyway. Well, you'll have to help me. Somehow the massage I got from that big bastard didn't do me a lot of good. I don't suppose you have a horse hidden around here. A horse? <laughs> Actually, I didn't think of that. Any word about your boy, Radzig? Nothing yet. Well, let's hope he hasn't done anything rash. Wouldn't surprise me, given the balls that he has. Now, I wonder where he might have got those from. Don't start, Hanush. I'm sorry, sir. This fellow... Henry! Father? <laughs> I told you he had balls. Well, I see that you haven't been idle, and we'll certainly need to have a talk later, but not quite so publicly. It looks like you have plenty to tell us. What happened? I, uh... I got a bit tied up at Vranig. But now I know what they're planning. What's being planned? And who's planning it? Spit it out, boy! There's no longer any doubt about it. It's that Hungarian noble you were hosting on the same day Sigismund pillaged Skalitz. Sir Istvan Toth. Toth and his people. Everything fits. They're the ones making the counterfeit money and using it to hire mercenaries from all around. He's already got quite an army at Vranjik. But what the fuck is he after? I can tell you exactly. And you won't like it. How's that? I had quite a long talk with him. What? When I was trying to get into his camp, I was taken captive. We had a bit of a chat. Actually, he told me his entire plan. What? I suppose he thought he didn't need to keep it secret any longer. I'm not all that surprised. Why not? What's that bastard planning? He's in the service of Sigismund. He wants to destroy King Wenceslas' allies. That means us. He's gathered a very large force. I'm honestly not sure if we can defeat them. And he knows no one will come to our aid now. That fucking cunt! I'll skin him alive! How many men has he got? More than a hundred, I'd say. And how secure is their camp? It's an old abandoned fortress on a hill above Sassau. It's inaccessible from three sides, surrounded by a timber palisade. Bastard! I'll crush that rabble of his! That's easy to say, old friend. It seems Toth isn't taking any chances. Together with Divish, we can muster enough men. And we can all see there's no time to waste. That bastard wants a battle? Much better we pick a time and place than he does. Undoubtedly. We have to take them by surprise. It would be best to attack tomorrow night. We can't get ready any sooner. <laughs> That's what I like to hear, Radzig. Henry. I want you to get yourself fixed up and then go straight to Sir Divish of Talmberg. Tell him to assemble all the able-bodied men he can and bring them to Vranik tomorrow evening. We'll wait for him there. Yes, sir. Finally, a chance to show I'm not carrying a sword just for ornament. What is it, Henry? Is there something else? The thing is, we have to deal with Zbyshek. I see. And who is he?
Zbyshek is from Skalitz. He helped me escape captivity and save my life. I promised him a reward for it. Indeed. Well, Zbyshek, if you saved my son's life, I'm grateful to you. As a token of my gratitude, please accept this reward. Thank you, sir. Thank you for your generosity. And under the circumstances, we won't ask how you came to be with that herd of swine at Vranik. So you'd better get out of here quick before I start thinking about it. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Goodbye, my lords. Thanks, Henry. God be with you. Get a good meal inside you and get those wounds tended to. You look wretched. And if you need equipment or armor, tell Bernard. He'll give you what you need. Yes, my lord. No more, my lord. I'm your father. I swear, Hal, I plan to tell you. I'm sorry Ishvan, of all people, beat me to it. But now we have more urgent matters to deal with. Hmm? Later we'll have time to talk about it. What do you say? As you wish, my lord. Father. Good. Now go to Divish as quickly as you can, son.